Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a calendar application using Python. We'll be using T Kenter and we'll be using the TK calendar. We're going to pip install that and you'll be able to have a calendar where you can add events and um, delete events, things like that. It's a good tutorial for those who are just looking for a simple project to get their feet wet to dive in a little bit more deeper in the concepts of Python. So first things first, I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor. You can use whatever code editor that you want. That's just my favorite one. Uh, you can download that. Just go on Google and type up Visual Studio Code free download. Follow the uh, instructions according to your um, computer setup, whatever you're using, whether you're using Mac or Windows. So we're going to create a folder and we're going to name this calendar hyphen or underscore underscore project. Or you just put calendar underscore P. You're going to go into Visual Studio Code. And we're going to select that folder we just created to make it the directory that our file will function in. Now that we have this set up, we're going to create our virtual environment. Pretty much a virtual environment, it isolates everything that you have for the code or for the program, whether you're installing packages, libraries, things like that. It's all isolated into the, uh, into the environment of the program, so it's not globally installed onto your computer. This is really good, especially if you're going to be sharing this source code with anyone or this project. So how you create an environment? I'm using, once again, Windows. Um, it might be different for you if you're using a Mac. If so, just uh, Google search how to add or, excuse me, how to create a virtual environment for your computer. So for me, it's going to be Python, hyphen three, or M, and then Vim, and then my EMV. And as you can see right here, under the calendar folder, it creates my environment. And it gives me these different folders, include lib is for library scripts, pyvenv.cfg. And once you create the folder, you now have to activate it. Um, usually when I create a, <clears throat> an environment on my computer, it takes a few seconds for uh, my terminal to catch up. Once my terminal catches up, we will activate it. Okay. Now, to activate the environment, you're going to do my emb forward slash scripts. Make sure that s is capitalized slash activate. And once you have the green down here, it lets you know that your virtual environment is now activated. Now we're going to create a new file, a Python file. We're going to hit File, Save As, and we'll say, uh, we'll name it My underscore calendar, matrix book calendar, right? Um, on the folder, I put C A L E N D E R. It should be an A, not an E. And then make sure you put dot pi. So we'll fix that real quick in our folder. Just uh, rename it. Just hit that rename button and then put that A. My mistake. Oh, I won't let us do that because um, we already have the folder open in Visual Studio Code, which is not a problem. Just uh, whenever you're done with this program, just um, do it once you have Visual Studio Code closed. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to pip install TK Calendar. OK, 
Okay, now that we have that installed, we're going to import our libraries. First thing we want to import is TK, or I would say TK Kenter, it's just tkenter. And this is what's going to give us our graphical interface, user interface, where we'll be able to see the calendar and interact with it. Or to make sure that calendar you uh, use a capital C in Python and other programming languages as well other ones like JavaScript things like that um, capitalization it can change the entire meaning of that word uh, in the program so you want to make sure that you're using the proper uh, capitalization when necessary so now we're going to create a function and we're going to define that function as add event And this function is going to add our event, and it's going to add, uh, add the event date. And then we're going to have the event description. We want to add the event description equals event underscore entry get. And then we're going to do our if else um, conditional statement. So if the event description colon event list box insert, I'm going to say TK, make sure you capitalize E and D. Common, then we're going to use the F string format. Event eight. Rotate event description. Rotate event underscore entry delete. Once we do that, we're going to create our else statement. For those of you who do not know, like if else statements are pretty much, I like to describe them as you're walking down a road and then there's a fork in the road and there's two paths you can go. You can either go to the left or you can either go to the right. So the if statement, so if a certain condition is met with the program, then it will go that route, route unless, uh, excuse me, it'll go that route else. If it doesn't meet the if condition and it goes the L, it go the direction of else, then you go the other path. So it pretty much dictates the flow of your program, things like that. So we're going to say else. Message box. So we're right now we're saying that if or else, if, if, if the if statement or the if condition is not met, then in the else statement, the message box will show a warning. And we're going to have that warning say, warning. You need to enter an event description. And this is what's going to display in our box if they do not um, if they don't enter an event description when they're just trying to add a date. Make sure you go to the file, save. It's always good to save often. You never know what could happen to your computer. So next function we're going to define is the clear event function. I'm going to 
to mint list box. So now we are creating the layout for in the in the event list box or in the list box of our calendar, we will be able to delete entire events or you know tasks or reminders, things like that. We're going to say root equals tk. Make sure that t is lowercase and then the second t is capitalized. Now, uh, you know, now all of this we laid out up here the layout of how we want our program to function. Now, going forward, we're going to be creating the graphical user interface that will display the buttons, the calendar, things like that going forth. So we're going to do our root title. We want the title of our program to be, say, the calendar app. Make sure you have those double quotation marks. This signifies that what's in between these quotation marks is a string. Let's create ourselves a quick note so we can uh, keep track of this code later on in the future. We'll say this will create calendar widget. So let's say cal equals calendar. Make sure you spell calendar right. I'm going to do the root select mode. And we're going to say day. So this allows us to select the day. Now we're going to do the date format. So we'll say date pattern, but this is going to have the date format and we want that to be a four digit year. We want a two digit month and two, two digit day. Now we're going to pack. Packing this is pretty much saying all this information we want up here, we want to display it. So we're going to say cal period pack. And we want it to be pad y equals 20. Make sure you go up and hit that file save button. It's always good to save. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next little section of code, we're going to add the buttons. So, um, actually, no, we're not going to add the buttons. We're going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to add the event and the buttons. So, first things first, we want to say this. This will create, or this will add events and buttons. So we want to say for our event, we want to say, sorry, my computer's slow today, event entry, tk dot entry, make sure it's a capital E. I'm going to say root, and we want the entry box width. This is what we're creating right now. We want it to be 50 pixels. And now we're going to pack all this, meaning that we're pretty much telling the program to display this. Let's say event entry dot pack. I'm going to put pad, pad y equals 10. So now we created our event display box. Now we're going to add buttons. So we're going to say add underscore btn, which is button, equals tk button. You're going to say root. You're going to say text. 
and the text that's going to be displayed is add event. So we're creating an add event button. And then you're going to command equals add underscore event. Now we're going to pack it again. Make sure that file save. So um, now we're, we're pretty much done. We got a couple more things. We're going to now create the, uh, the size of the list box. So we're going to say this event will create the list box. I'm going to say event underscore list box equals tk list box. We want the width to be 50 pixels. Height to be 10. And now we're going to make our main loop, which is going to create the loop that will keep the program running as long as it's open. So main loop, parentheses, file save, go down here in your terminal, type in clear to get rid of all this. Okay, and then hit that play button. And there you go, you have your calendar. We can change the year, change the month. Let's add an event, 25th. We'll say, or it's the 28th. We'll say, I need to go grocery shopping at 2 p.m. Hit that add event button. Okay, why did that not display? That should display. Hold on for a second. We have a problem. Okay. Let's take a look back on our code because that should display. We have add underscore button equals tk button root text equals add event. Command equals add underscore event. Then we have add underscore button dot pack paddy pad y equals five. Oh, that's what the problem is. We forgot the pack right here, the event list box. So event list box pack. We're gonna say do the we'll do five. Or no, we're gonna do twenty. Pad y equals twenty. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's close this program and let's rerun it. There we go. Let's, there we go. You see how it's extended now? It should display under here. So we're going to say, need to go grocery shopping at 2 p.m. Add event. And there you go, it displays the event.